Hi there. Welcome to another one of my tutorial videos where I talk about how to make a particular kind of song. In this instance, we're going to talk a bit about making a, well, an epic sounding orchestra piece. Uh, it's a little difficult on garage band, but I can offer a few pointers about the sort of things you're going to need. So, to kick off, start by getting a staccato string sound of some sort and kicking off with a bass line, like so. So what you want to do now is get some sweeping string underneath your bass line to add some emotion, some highness to it, and then bring in some drums about halfway through that track to, well, add some beat, so to speak. So now that you've got your really powerful lead in with the drums and the sweeping strings, what you'll want to do now is bring in the brass, really brass it to hell. Then add some extra staccato strings to beef it out a bit, big up the drums and you've got a really strong main section. next section exists to give a bit of a pause, so you pull out some of those excess layers that you had and strip it down so that it lets you breathe before you go into the next section. Which can be one of two things, but we'll get to that. For your next section, uh, you can either go right back into the powerful main section, reprise your main section, but beef it up even more for a proper climactic ending, or you can take your tone down even more. So you can bring in some flutes, some horns, you know, make it a bit quieter, really give the listener a chance to pause before driving back in with the main section. So for this example, we're going to do a bit of a pause section.
time to bring in the reprise of your main section, once as it was, and once with extra power! Just to really blow your audience's socks off. you've had your epic fun now, bring it back down with a reprise of some of your earlier sections, take out some of the layers, and let the audience cool down. <laughs> simple way of making a cool sounding orchestral epic piece. So obviously this is a bit uh, haphazard so don't take it massively seriously but it's a quick and efficient way of structuring one of these things and it's adaptable enough that you can pretty much do anything within this formula. You might also notice that it's actually surprisingly similar to the way that you create a dancey track. That's because fundamentally these sort of tracks are... well no. It's not that they are formulaic, rather they can be formulaic and what I've done is demonstrate the way that you can make something by that formula really, really quickly. Um, so anyway, I hope that's been enlightening for you and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers! <laughs>